So in a video I made about a week ago about the interaction between NTS wards and Igleaf shield, I talk about how you can pair uh, the NTS ward shield with Igleaf shield. But obviously there's a delay in between in which the NTS ward shield and the Glaive shield will not proc. That means you are vulnerable to damage within those split second. However, you can fix this issue by using the stasis aspect, Cryoclasm, in order to sprint cancel. Now luckily, Cryoclasm and NTS ward they proc at the same time. Now what Cryoclasm does is that it makes your slide a little bit longer. Now what's cool about Cryoclasm is that while you're within the slide animation, you can actually sprint forward to cancel your slide. This will also allow you to put your Glaive Shield up much sooner, and it should look something like this. As you can see, I put up my Glaive Shield much faster than before. All you need to do is sprint for about one second, slide, sprint, and then put your Glaive Shield up. If you do it right, your Glaive Shield should pop up as soon as your NTS Wards goes down. So in theory, if you use this combo inside of PvP, you will deflect any incoming damage using the Shield from NTS Ward, and then when your slide ends, you can use the Shield from Enigma for a 75% damage resist. Right now, Glaives only get 1 ammo per brick, but later next week, I believe that they are going to buff the ammo economy so that you can get 2 ammo per pickup, so expect a lot of aping using NTS Ward and the Enigma inside of Crucible. You can even pair this with an explosive payload and shoot to loot, there's a bug right now in which if you directly hit a special brick using an explosive payload and shoot to loot weapon, it will actually give you two times the amount of ammo that you would get. So theoretically, if you use this exact combo uh, next week, you will be able to pick up one special brick and it will provide you with four ammo for your glaive. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.